Fasten your helmets and tighten your grip, because today we're not just riding any ordinary motorcycle. We're climbing atop a steel beast that roars with power and sophistication, that blurs the line between raw performance and sculpted beauty. Yes, it's a motorcycle that eats miles for breakfast and asks for seconds. You'll feel the rumble of the asphalt beneath you and the rush of the wind as you slice through it. Your heart will race, matching the beat of its relentless engine. Are you excited yet? We sure are. We're about to pull the curtain back on a motorcycle that needs no introduction, yet deserves the grandest one. This isn't just any mechanical ride, but a testament to what true engineering and a passion for speed can bring to life. A true superstar, the one that turns heads and bends roads. The Road Conquering the heart-throbbing Honda NT 1100. Today we're not just talking motorcycles, we're breathing life into legends. Hello and welcome to the Motorcycle Lifestyle. Now let's delve into the nuts and bolts of the Honda NT 1100. It seems Honda has taken a friendly, easy-going and comfortable approach with the NT 1100. It's a nod to the past, echoing the spirit of the old Deauville and Pan-European, and it might just remind you of the CBF 1000 in the flesh. The NT 1100 is a hugely competent tourer, soft friendly, comfortable, and well-built. Its generosity of equipment matches its opulence in design. The spacious, upright stance of the Africa Twin is beautifully incorporated into the NT1100, adding a more road-focused handling and a lower seat to appeal to shorter riders. While the power delivery is sprightly, it's not outright sporty. The DCT gearbox works well enough. However, if it were up to us, we'd opt for the manual version and save a thousand bucks. It's a motorcycle that feels stable, with light steering and excellent tires that even the wettest conditions can't dampen. Now let's talk about how it feels to ride this beauty. To ride the NT 1100 feels more like a softer, cuddlier Yamaha Tracer 9 GT, Kawasaki Versus 1000 or BMW F900 XR than the sports tourers that have been stealing the spotlight lately. But let's be clear, it's a tourer through and through. However, don't expect the muscle or playfulness of bikes like the Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX, BMW R1250 RS or Suzuki GSX S1000. GT. Based on the Africa Twin, the NT1100 is unsurprisingly spacious. The riding position is canted forward 10 degrees from its adventure sibling, and the seat is so comfortable you'll have no need for a leg stretch or a bum shuffle, even after a day's riding at the Honda's world launch near Barcelona. Now we don't have a friendly pillion on hand, but their pegs are nicely low too, and the 60mm back seat looks just as plush. The NT1100 also offers plenty of weather protection, which is a blessing in today's unpredictable climate. The lower wind deflectors do a fantastic job keeping the spray off your feet. While the screen can be stiff to adjust on the move, you'll find one of its five positions to suit you. However, there's always room for improvement. Buffeting can be quite loud when it's windy, and if that's a deal breaker for you, a more road bike shaped Tora with a raked screen will be much quieter. The left switch gear block is a messy mass of buttons, which can be a little tricky to find, especially wearing thick gloves. But hey, it's all part of the adventure, right? Now, let's explore some tight turns on the Honda NT1100. With the same frame as the Africa Twins, the NT1100 has a new swing arm, slightly sportier steering geometry and shorter travel suspension. Despite weighing in at a hefty 240 kilograms in DCT trim, the Honda carries its weight well. It's stable at high speed and, although softly sprung, is nicely balanced in the bends. Nimble around town and, when it's time to stop, low enough to get your feet flat on the floor. The standard Met's the Roadtech One Sports Touring Rubber didn't disappoint us during our test ride. Even in wet conditions, the grip was simply fantastic. So much so that the traction control and ABS didn't make an appearance. The braking feel and power in the conditions were top-notch too. Now let's move on to the beating heart of the Honda NT1100, the engine. The 101 brake horsepower, 1084cc SOHC 8-valve parallel twin engine's power has been refined with tweaks to the mapping, longer intake ducts, and a new exhaust cab. The result is a smooth spread of power, a gusty exhaust note, and a pleasant purr at 70 mph at 4000 RPM in top. 
This motorcycle is designed to waft, so if you're after a slightly less sensible tourer, the MT-1100 may not be the bike for you, but then you probably guessed that already. After our 150 mile test, we fill up with one bar showing on the fuel gauge. You could probably eke out more, but probably not as much as the 250 miles Honda claims. On the face of it, a semi-automatic touring bike sounds perfect, and indeed it adds to the MT's friendliness when you're cruising all around town. But the DCT often won't change down enough gears into slow corners, which can give a slightly unnerving freewheeling feeling or for swift overtakes, and it can be a bit clunky at low speed. You can use the DCT as a flappy paddle manual, but it has a synthetic feeling and isn't as engaging as the real thing. We'd save money and weight and go for the manual version. Now let's talk about reliability and build quality. Honda reliability is never in question, and the Africa Twin it's based on has had no major faults. However, paint finishes around the frame on a handful of bikes have been below par and caused rust problems. Only time will tell how the NT1100 will survive a winter, but from new it appears robust and well finished. Styling and colors, grey, black, white, might be typically conservative, but the NT's sparkle comes from what you get for your money. Cruise control, a center stand, two chargers, USB and and ACC, five-stage heated grips, five rider modes, three preset and two custom, combined three-way adjustable torque and wheelie control, ABS, LED lights, self-canceling indicators, and a remote preload adjuster. Inspired by the Africa Twin, the NT1100 gives you a comfy riding position that keeps you fresh on long trips. It's balanced, nimble in the city, and a beast on the highway. And those Metzler Road Tech tires, they've got a grip on wet roads like a champ. Now onto the engine. With a smooth 101 brake horsepower from a 1084cc parallel twin engine, this cruiser's power delivery is tuned for the tarmac. A slight letdown, the fuel economy could be better, but you'll still get around 250 miles range, which is pretty solid. Honda's reliability gets a thumbs up, and the NT1100 is no different. Just keep an eye on the frame paint finish. Some Africa twins had minor rust issues, otherwise the build quality is top notch. The NT1100 comes loaded with an array of features that easily justify its price. For starters, you've got cruise control, a must-have for those long cross-country adventures. There's also the inclusion of heated grips, a welcome feature for those of us who don't let a little cold weather keep us off the road. Add in LED lights and ABS, and you've got a package that's built with safety and durability in mind. But it doesn't stop there. One of the standout features on this machine is the 6.5-inch color TFT touchscreen. This isn't just your average bike console, this is a full multimedia hub that comes complete with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Whether you're looking to navigate unfamiliar roads, catch up on your favorite podcasts, or simply need to make a hands-free call during your ride, this system has got you covered. So, when we talk about value for money, it's not just a phrase we're throwing around lightly. The Honda NT1100 truly earns its stripes in this regard. It's not just about the quality of the ride, it's about the overall experience, and the NT1100 has been designed with the modern rider in mind. To wrap up, the NT1100 ticks all the boxes for a great tourer. It's not exactly a sport bike, but for those looking for a mix of comfort and features, it's a gem. If you're hunting for a mix of practicality, comfort, and value, the NT1100 is definitely worth your attention. So, before we sign off, remember this. Life is short. Ride more motorcycles. Take that to heart, get out there, and enjoy the open road.